Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I have a Goose Creek candle haul of candles that I designed myself. Yes, so as you guys know, I do work for Goose Creek as a graphic designer and I am indeed paid for my work that I do for graphic design at Goose Creek. So they sent me some candles that I had requested of the candle designs that I did myself and so we'll get right into it. So we have a whole juicy holiday collection of many candles uh, and several collections as well. And so of course I'll just do the usual haul as well as like my sort of just thoughts and behind the scenes design process and inspiration behind the designs that I did. So yes, a few of you guys have messaged me asking me like those designs have to be yours, right? And indeed some of them are. So we'll get right into it. So the first collection we have is this fun, like just a classic bake shop type of photo label that is just so much fun and just like very whimsical uh, for the holiday time. And we have the Velvet Santa Cookie right here. Oh my god, I just love the vibrant like wax color mixed with the classic photo label on there. Uh, super cute. These have the silver lids on them. The first one we have is Velvet Santa Cookie. We don't have notes yet on the bottom of the candle, so I will consult the website for the notes. This one says sugar cookie dough, red velvet glaze, red berries, and sweet vanilla icing. So, yes. Hmm. Okay, this one's good. Um, it's honestly, I get like a cherry berry blend. Um, yeah, almost like a kind of like because there's like a vanilla frosting or almost like a cream cheese frosting that you would associate with like a red velvet fragrance. There's almost like a cherry cheesecake mixed with a hint of a red velvet like chocolatiness in the background, but honestly it's a little bit more fruity and bright and a little less rich on the uh, like heavy cocoa powderiness that you often get with like red velvet or chocolate type of fragrances. It also thankfully doesn't have that sort of like crayony waxy fragrance that a lot of like red velvet fragrances tend to have. It doesn't have that. But yeah, it's almost like a, a fruity like vanilla cream cheese frosting mixed with a little bit of red velvet. But I think there's just more emphasis on the quote unquote red berries that uh, comes off more like cherries to me with that sort of like vanilla frosting uh, note in there, the sweet vanilla icing. Yeah. Mmm, okay, it's fun. Uh, Velvet Santa cookie right there. How cute is that? The next one we have is Peppermint Candy Cookie. And oh my god, how juicy is that one as well with that beautiful pink wax on there. Uh, and the notes on this one read Iced Peppermint Sugared. Candy, uh, chocolate, mint, and butter cookie. And sure enough, this does smell very pepperminty. I, I get more of that sort of medic medicinal peppermint, like sort of menthol type of feel to it. I wouldn't mind if this one had a little bit more of that sort of like marshmallowy vanilla uh, sort of action. It's almost, yeah, it's like minty, kind of like a very much like a candy cane or a like uh, like the peppermint uh, little hard candies. Very much like that. Heavy on the peppermint. And honestly, the cookie comes much later uh, than the peppermint does. Yeah. I would say it's a lot more like cooler and minty and a heavier emphasis on the mint than let's say like the peppermint sugar cookie candle, which has a little bit more of like a warm butteriness to it. This is more cool and minty than that one. And I feel like the cookie, at least on cold, isn't super prominent. So we'll have to see uh, like how much cookie bakery action comes out on this when you go to burn it, but just super cute. So we have the duo right here. I didn't request every single one of the candles that I designed because it's starting to become an overwhelming, like basically a store of Goose Creek candles at this point. If all the candles that I designed get sent to me, uh, there's just, there's just, you know, becomes a lot. And my candle collection is always already quite massive. So I just kind of have to be sort of picky and choosy about the which ones uh, I kind of want to talk about. Um, so... There is a third one in that collection that is called Vanilla Snowman that has this beautiful blue wax and these really cute like uh, snowman cake pops on it. I don't I don't know what that smells like because I do not have it in my possession. Um, I believe there was also a fourth fragrance in that collection, but I don't quite know what the fate of that is. I don't know if it's late or if it didn't you know make production or whatever it is. Uh, but possibly I think there was four originally in that collection. So we'll see what happens to that. Uh, and so that was the just super cute, like classic, like bake shop collection with the photo labels. Oh my God, how just cute and uh, I don't know, just like nostalgic uh, and fun are those. Uh, so that was that. Moving on, we have like this sort of woodland critters outside collection. So this collection uh, was 
basically all kind of like outdoor woodsy fragrances. Um, and so the collection was given to me as a list and I was like, ooh, like what do I want to do with like an outdoorsy collection? But it's of course the winter and holiday time. So I wanted to still add a little bit of like a whimsical touch to it. And who doesn't love animal labels? So I was like, you know what? Let me do like a fun, like going in the, you know, woodlands, like a frosted forest, woodland critters type of vibe to it. And so that's what we did here. And a lot of the wax colors are also kind of cool and icy as well. Uh, so we did that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, it was just so fun, like, coming up with the animals to put in the scenes, and then I actually did indeed construct, uh, like, kind of the scenes, uh, sort of, like, behind, uh, the, the animals to create a, uh, sort of, like, you know, a landscape on there, and then sort of that whimsical font that we have on there, and the gold foil, uh, like, the gold foil border on there matches the gold lids on there, so I love that, uh, look as well. So the first one we have is Frosted Birch and Balsam, and that one's really cute right there. Uh, let's see, what are the notes on this one? Uh, Mountain Air, Frosted Birch, Rustic Balsam, Bright Citrus, and Elegant Woods. Yeah, so sure enough, this is very much like your kind of quintessential Christmas tree type of fragrance is what I get from it. You get that sort of like, sort of almost how like a lot of birch fragrances tend to have like sort of that woodsy, like almost like tree bark type of quality to it. That mixed with like the fresh sort of sappy balsam note is in there. And then honestly, I get a little bit of that sort of like orange and clove uh, vibe mixed in with the background that gives that sort of like rustic holiday feel to it. So yeah, this is just like your pretty much, if you want that sort of like rustic Christmas tree fragrance and frosted birch and balsam is uh, the one for you. So that's that right there. Moving on, we have this one with the, what is that, a ferret? I should know which animals I chose, but like, like, like a white snow ferret looking uh, <laughs> rodent thing. Um, so we have that there. Oh my God, I love just like the, the light blue skate, like winter scape on there with the like cool icy blue wax color. And that's what that is. Uh, let's see, what does Vanilla Forest say? Or is it a, is it a meerkat? Is that what it is? Is that, a, is that what it is, a meerkat? Is that what it's called? N well, it doesn't quite look like a meerkat either. I, I don't know. Um, somebody who's an animal expert, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let's see. Uh, woodland pine, sweet balsam, winter bonfire, and smoky vanilla. Now that sounds really promising. Um, okay, but falls a little short to be completely honest. Yeah, uh, it's just kind of a light vanilla fragrance. And I get maybe a little bit of a smokiness in the background, but it's like not your, like that marshmallow fire type, type of fragrance. It's not that heavy or not that creamy either. Yeah, it's like a light vanilla fragrance. I wouldn't mind if this one had, if this one had a lot more of a forest and pine and balsam note, even though it says it has pine and balsam, I really don't get a lot of that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if this had way more pine and way more balsam mixed with the vanilla. Yeah, this one's just kind of like a flat, Vanilla fragrance with something a little bit like woodsy in the background, but I'm not getting a whole lot of that. Yeah, so that was Vanilla Forest right there. Uh, maybe, possibly, it will transform when it burns. The next one we have with this cute little squirrel. Oh my god, sage wreath right there. And I love that like sage green color that is matching with it. Uh, and so let's see, what does sage wreath read? Red berries, fur needle, sage, cinnamon, and clove. Sure enough, yeah, this is that kind of like holiday wreath type of fragrance that you get. It still has uh, much of the tree notes in there and a little bit of like a spiciness in the background and kind of that sort of like, uh, like winter fruits quality to give a little bit of sweetness in there. Yeah, this is another awesome like just quintessential tree fragrance. Yeah, just very much like screams Christmas winter time. So I appreciate that. So sage wreath uh, right there. Uh, lastly, in my possession, I have huckleberry and mistletoe. Oh, I just love the cute little bird on here with like the frosted like purple berries and the garland. I just love the whole like purpley icy uh, color scheme that I chose for this one. So huckleberry and mistletoe right there. Look at how fun and juicy that color is. Uh, let's see, what does huckleberry and mistletoe say? I believe this is a new fragrance for this year. Uh, the sweetness of a juicy winter huckleberry blends with freshly cut mistletoe. So winter berries, huckleberry, white snow, mistletoe, and woods. I'm interested to see what the white snow smells like. Um, okay, this is not what I was expecting to be honest. 
yeah, I don't really get a whole lot of the mistletoe and woods in this. Super juicy, quenching berry fragrance. Yeah, very, very heavy on the huckleberry and winter berries. Yeah, very juicy and sweet. Like this could potentially be a like tropical uh, summer fragrance and I would not bat an eye. Yeah, uh, this one, like based on the name, I do wish like the mistletoe would have came out more. It's very sweet, fruity, yeah. Um, okay, that was Huckleberry and Mistletoe right there. Uh, and there's a fifth one in that collection that I do not have in my possession that is Frozen Waterfalls that has this snowy white owl on it that's really cute. Uh, and that was the, uh, has like Frozen Waters, Grapefruit, Woods, and Eucalyptus. Maybe like a clean, uh, slightly cologne spa type of fragrance is what I would imagine from at least the notes. So that was the really cute, whimsical, um, like frosted winterland woodland critters collection. So yeah, I just love how just the, the, the fun, juicy, like wax colors and the photo labels and the illustration labels on these are so much fun. So uh, super proud of how those came out. So love that. Uh, the next collection we have is this awesome, like cozy holiday sweater collection. Uh, and there's a crap load of those uh, candles as well. And I have four of them in my possession. So so we have Christmas magic. Oh my god, I just love this one. It's just like has that captures that Christmas magic, like nostalgic red, like winter sweater holiday Christmas feel so well. Um, and even like the kind of like the sort of like frilly, swirly, uh, you know, design around the deer just has that sort of magical feel to it that I really enjoy. Uh, and even like the font on there is kind of looks like it's, you know, stitched. Uh, and then we have the matching juicy white lid with the white accents on here. Uh, so really love how these turn out. These kind of have like a, uh, a little bit of like a textured matte finish on it. So Christmas magic, let's say what, let's see what that one says. Uh, let's see, crushed candy canes, creamy vanilla, light mandarin, vanilla swirl, and warm amber. Mmm, okay, this smells like, um, peppermint covered Fritos. Yeah, so you get, this is definitely much a, like, peppermint candy cane type of treat fragrance. Honestly, not too far off from the peppermint candy cookie. This one's just, once again, a lot mintier and cooler and icy, uh, than this is. This one's a little bit warmer because there's like this sort of like Frito corn chips type of like bakery vibe in it. Let's see. It doesn't mention a bakery note, but there's something like crusty and flaky in the background that kind of smells like like Fritos or like a croissant or like a pie crust type of fragrance is what I get mixed with the heaps of like your candy cane and vanilla in there. Yeah, so if you want like another peppermint type of bakery fragrance, then check out Christmas Magic. Uh, so that's what that one looks like right there. Uh, let's see, next we have Holiday Embers. I just love like the, cause it's like embers. So it's like a crackling fireplace. So like more like a warm type of, uh, you know, like a brown color is what I would imagine from it. So we have the Holiday Embers right there with that sort of co cozy uh, brown pattern on it. Uh, let's see, what does Holiday Embers say? Uh, winter fireplace, cedar, clove buds, cinnamon leaves, pine, Siberian fir, and crackling ember. So we have a whole boatload of notes on that one. Ooh, okay. This one kind of has that, that warm vanilla wood slash creepy critters type of, almost like that marshmallow woods type of fragrances in here. But there's a little bit more spice in it. So it's like if you take those candles, uh, but add more spice in it, that's kind of what holiday ember smells like. It's not, don't think of like that, your like your fireside type of really smoky, leathery, incense -y feel. It's not that heavy or smoky by any means. Uh, it's, yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of that sort of embered smoky woods quality, but not, not as far uh, like heavy as those. Um, yeah, you get the clove and the cinnamon in there mixed with kind of that sort of warm vanilla woods slash creepy critters type of slightly sweet woodsy fragrance. Yeah, I actually appreciate that this one's a little bit more brighter and light and not so heavy on that usual really incense -y, leathery, smoky, fiery uh, quality that we get. Uh, so Holiday Embers right there. Love how just like cozy and embery that one is. Uh, let's see, moving on, we have sn Snowball Fight. And oh my God, how darling is the, uh, the packaging on this one? Just the pattern on it is really, really cute. Uh, and that's what that one looks like with the snow snowmen on there. Uh, let's see, what does Snowball Fight uh, say? 
Icy Snow, Orange Peel, Lemon, Red Berries, Vanilla Rose, Peony, Vanilla Cream, and Sweet Musk. So that one has many, many notes in it as well. Uh, Snowball Fight. Ooh, okay, this one's this one's interesting. I, I don't know if I if I named this snowball fight, like that's where I would go, or if I saw a snowball fight, I don't know if that's where I would go. Snowball fight would evoke more of like a once again a minty, cool peppermint mixed with like a pine tree type of fragrance is what I would imagine snowball fight to smell like. Um this one just smells like body care to me. Yeah. Body care for sure. I mean that like vanilla rose and peony is in there. Uh and it's made slightly fruity. Um, by the fruits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is very much a, like, fruity, floral body care. I'm trying to think if I strip away this label and the naming on it. Yeah, this could be, like, some type of spring body care fragrance. I would totally believe it. So if you want, like, a springtime <laughs> body care fragrance that's fruity floral, then check out Snowball Fight. Uh, so that's what that one was right there. Uh, moving on, the last one that I have on possession is tree cutting, and oh, I love the handsome green uh, pattern on this one, uh, and that's what that looks like right there. It has the white lid on it. Uh, tree cutting. What does this one say? Winter pine, snowflake, spearmint, eucalyptus leaves, fresh cut timber, and applewood. So I would imagine like a like a really juicy tree fragrance. Okay, this is uh, similar to a sweater weather type of fragrance. So if you enjoy a sweater weather type of fragrance, this one is close to that. Yeah, it has that mintiness in there, that sort of cool spearmint mixed with the eucalyptus, uh, and a little bit of that sort of like green, uh, like earthy quality in there. Kind of has that sort of like toothpaste type of spearmint quality. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if I would think tree cutting when I smell this fragrance, but it is indeed outdoorsy and has a like cooling outside quality to it. So yeah, okay. Tree cutting right there. Very cooling and minty and sort of like uh, sinus clearing, but also has a little bit of a green uh, herbal twist to it from the eucalyptus in the uh, tree notes. Uh, so those were the four um, sweater candles that I have. Once again, just uh, how festive and darling are those? Oh my God, I just, I would love to like kind of like just decorate a holiday uh, scape with that. Um, and I think there's other ones remaining in that collection that I do not have in my position. There's one uh, called The Snuggle is Real, which I just love like the, the, the color on this one. Just really has that sort of like creamy sweater type of feel to it. Uh, Cozy With You has like a very fun like gray knit one. And then lastly, there's a sort of kind of like a brown uh, goldish one that's called Warm Tangerine and Pomander. And that uh, rounds out that collection of the fun uh, festive holiday sweaters. Uh, and then we have just a single candle from two more collections that I did designs for. And we have this kind of like snow covered icy snowflake type of feel to it. So they're kind of like close ups of uh, like, you know, snowflakes. So uh, we have snow covered trees on that one right there. Uh, let's see, what does this one say? This one also has snow-covered apples. Um, I thought there was a third one, but I'm not seeing it right now. Uh, maybe it was just two. Uh, let's see, snow-covered trees. Winter citrus, falling snow, frozen fir needle, frosty eucalyptus, pine cone, Siberian fir, blue spruce, and cool musk. Okay, that's a whole lot going on there too. Um, Ooh, girl, whoa, this smells like urine. Um, yeah, if you like that, I, I think a lot of people like t tend to make comparisons of some tree fragrances smelling like cat pee. Well, this, this is sure it. Yeah, this smells like sweet urine with pine. So if you kind of want like pee on snow in a uh, winter forest type of field and check out snow covered trees. I'm sure I'm doing a really good uh, job of selling this candle right now, but that is what I get. Um, yeah, okay. That, that snow covered trees for you, so that's what that one looks like right there. Um, and then lastly, we have this other fun, just like, uh, I just, so of course when you're designing candles, you want to think about like different tastes and catering to different tastes as well. And so you, you, do, you do like maybe a mix of photo labels, some fun like graphical wraparounds, uh, what have you. Uh, and then in this case, I just kind of wanted to do it more like sort of modern, contemporary, very like graphical uh, feel to it. So we have a trio of these really fun uh, sort of cookie candles. And we have North Pole Bakery, Midnight Cookie Craving, and Baking on Christmas Eve. So think of almost like like modern 
uh, like product packaging or even like some like modern like I don't know like food packaging as well and so we have the North Pole Bakery one here I really love like the scalloped uh, white edge on that that kind of extends from the white lid so I really like that and then just have these bold colors uh, and this one has like little gingerbread men uh, in the background and then it says North Pole Bakery on that uh, so this one let's see says fluffy spice cake gingerbread vanilla cinnamon and white icing uh, so this one indeed has the white wax on it right there. And, ooh, yeah, this is nice. It smells like frosted, like, gingerbread. Uh, you get gingerbread, which is very, like, creamy and sweet. It's not overly spicy, but there's enough spice in there that you definitely smell this and think, uh, gingerbread. And it has that frosting note in there. Ooh, I like this. A lot of times, like, gingerbread fragrances can be, like, too spicy or too gingery or smell too curry, but this one has a nice blend of the vanilla frosting in there that this kind of smells like it could be like a marshmallow infused gingerbread or like a gingerbread like frosting on type of a cake okay i really like that one i think this is probably my favorite bakery fragrance of the ones that we've hauled so far uh yeah so north pole, north pole bakery right there that one's really fun so uh yeah uh and so yeah that one had the midnight cookie cravings in it as well as baking on christmas eve uh and then of course there's a whole slew of other designs made by other talented designers on the team that are really pretty too uh but of course i just have the ones that i designed here myself uh and a selection of those uh so yeah hope you enjoy this haul i think if i had to pick a favorite uh, favorites from these. It would be North Pole Bakery. It's my favorite bakery fragrance for sure. And then my favorite tree fragrance. Um, let's see. Which one? That one's pretty, pretty good. Ooh, but that sage wreath is kind of nice too. Um, I, I would go with either of these two for my favorite tree fragrances. Uh, they're all, they're both kind of quintessential like green Christmas tree pine fragrances. So either of those two, if you're looking for a tree fragrance. Um, my least favorite would definitely be the snow covered trees because it, it kind of like this one could potentially transform nicer like when you go to burn it and all the other notes mixed together but on cold it kind of smells like urine so uh that's a little a little uh alarming um and then i think vanilla forest is probably the most disappointing because i was really looking for like a juicy like vanilla infused balsam or christmas tree fragrance it's not really serving that for me right now uh and the one that's probably the most like um like mismatch from the name to what it is is probably snowball fight because this really smells like a springtime fruity floral fragrance and not so much of like a snowball fight to me so just heads up on this one if you order this one uh obviously blindly because it's online uh but yeah um that was pretty much it yeah super fun designing these labels uh for goose creek uh and working with them and just then finally seeing the ideas and concepts to life in creation and then on a website and then what's even so juicy is then seeing my designs like photographed in a professional setting and then seeing the juicy beautiful photos on the website and on the app and the emails it just like soothes my soul it's just so incredibly satisfying and then of course seeing them here smelling them and talking about it with you guys uh it's just really really fun so i really enjoy it so thanks so much let me know what your favorite uh you know candle designs or which collection was your favorite from the ones that i designed uh this year for goose creek let me know all your thoughts down below and i'll talk to you guys later bye